What's going on, Martians? I'm back with another one. It's your man, Bust the Martian, aka UFO Bust the Goat. So look, Martians, man, I got some bad news for you guys, as you see in the title of this video, but it's not necessarily bad news. You dig? So before we get right into this banger, I'm gonna go ahead and give a shout out. You know, I gotta shout out the Martians that supported and showed love on our last video. Our last video did so well. I just want to give you guys a shout out now. <clears throat> shout out to Ham and Edgar. Shout out to Brandon Price. Shout out to Big Juice Man 314. Shout out to The Warrior. Shout out to Amin Butt. Shout out to Reese C. Shout out to Ring IQ. Shout out to Stick Sticky. Shout out to Preston Horton. Shout out to Gareth O'Reilly. Shout out to Hankins of Jewels. Shout out to Ayan Abarev. And shout out to JD11. Thank you, Martian. Shout out to you guys for supporting and dropping love in the comments. Let me know you guys are excited for eSports Boxing Club. You already know UFO Squad Martians game. With no further ado, we're going to get right into this banger. What I brought you guys here for. As you can see, eSports Boxing Club, Steel City Interactive. They delayed the early access Steam release. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the rundown right here. Uh, gameplay trailer feedback. We were blown away by the incredible response from you all, including the reaction videos that were posted afterwards. We noticed a few concerns regarding the speed of the punches. While nothing was final in the trailer, the purpose was movement, and we are committed to improving all aspects of gameplay. Now, their release plans, we want as many fans as possible to enjoy ESBC, whether you are on last gen or current gen systems. We are still committed to bringing this across PC, Xbox One, Xbox One Series S and X, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. We will be launching this in phases, simply due to the size of our development team, <clears throat> the first launch being on the PC. We have noted our queries regarding launching into Xbox game preview. This is currently being reviewed by the team and we will provide more information soon. Current development state for PC early access launch. V1 physics and mechanics implemented. V2 being worked on. 70% of the career mode implemented. Offline multiplayer implemented. Experimental online multiplayer mode implemented. Fully customizable character creator implemented. Upload, download of characters enabled via Steam. 21 licensed boxers implemented. Nine venues created so far. Initial commentary has been implemented. Ability to create your own career mode, renaming everything from trainers to judges and their abilities. Some of you may feel that <clears throat> this could be enough to launch into early access. And whilst Esports Boxing Club of early April 2020 would have agreed, the scope, visuals, license, and expectations have increased significantly to warrant this game being given the chance to realize those expectations. We would like to thank you all for your ongoing support during what has been a challenging year for everyone. We are committed to making Esports Boxing Club the game that boxing fans and gamers alike have been waiting for. We've been asked by you to deliver a knockout, and we're working hard to make that happen with the glove emojis. Y'all see it, man. From Still Sitting from still city interactive development team so there you guys have it martians that's them saying it themselves this was just tweeted uh just finished my workout five hours ago they tweeted that out five hours ago so it was um this was the second part i didn't read this whole first part because uh, that, this was the main important part that you guys needed to get they delayed it so there's not an actual release date yet guys which is fine because we have cyberpunk to hold us over um, until then, which I think this was a really smart move. Drop a comment. Let me know if you guys are sad, upset, mad for them doing this. Um, for me, there's three W's with this, man. One, it's like it's giving you an, a chance to enjoy the other games, man. Uh, Cyberpunk, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, Warzone conversion uh, coming out in like two days. Uh, there's a lot going on that's happening right now. So with them doing this, it actually gives you a chance to just go ahead and rock out on the other games until they come out. Because once this comes out, bro, you know you're going to be in career mode. You're going to run through it. So if I'm on this game playing career mode, 
for any t- for even half the time I've been on Cyberpunk, I probably probably would be done with career mode. Who knows? You never know. So it's good that they're doing this, man, because I will be playing on the very on the hardest difficulty, just like I'm doing with Cyberpunk, and uh, I'm enjoying Cyberpunk. So with this game coming out later, I'm not mad at them. Shout out to Steel City Interactive. Shout out to Esports Boxing Club. I'm definitely still going to be playing on the first day, waiting for that email to hit my phone, and I'm in there, man. UFO Squad Martians gang, shout out to the Martians. I love y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.